Haitian, it's Mardi Gras, my Haitian, it's Mardi Gras, my Haitian, it's Mardi Gras, my, she eating the country food and all, and you know she like the carnival, Creole and crunchy too, Mardi Gras, my, do what it do, Haitian, it's Mardi Gras, my. See, let's sit, talk, laugh, and eat with Mardi Gras Ma. And Beignet Baby. Hey, hey, hey. All right, then. Um, What are we going to do today? What do you want to do? Um, Well, I always like to have fun. So I said, why don't we start off this video today with a game? An old classic. I know, I know a lot of y'all know it. It's called... Bobby. Oh, Bobby. oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> I know you probably got Mardi Gras on this one. You okay, we're going to see. We're going to put it on party mode. Or, or yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you go to sleep. Because he, this little Bobby always give it attitude. Talking about really? every 15 seconds you're not playing. So I'm going to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, really? And who was changing your batteries? Right. <laughs> this toy is, ooh. I don't know how old, and it is still kicking on the original okay. set of batteries. Better not be kidding the truth. Either. They was not playing when they put this together. Okay, <laughs> let's do the classic mode. Silver. Yeah. Okay, she gotta be 17, y'all. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Spin it. One. You can do this. Score. Three. Okay, well, Mardi Gras Mardi <laughs> didn't get past three, but and that's okay. uh, better Bop luck next start. time. We all knew who was gonna win when we, when we signed up for the game, didn't we? You know, but Mardi Gras Ma will challenge any. Oh, everything. yeah, she's up for a challenge. Yeah, so tonight our challenge is we're going to eat these ice cream, these blue bunny lotus sundaes, honey. I have, uh, what is this, strawberry sundae? Yes. Oh. And I have the bunny track sundae with vanilla that has um, caramel and fudge swirls. Chocolate, chocolatey covered peanuts mm -hmm. and chocolate peanut butter bunnies. Oh, Ooh. sounds delicious. Yes, it does. And this it reads uh, strawberry shortcake. Mm. Yeah. As tall as I am, I get a shortcake. But <laughs> that's okay. Right. Okay. So, what are we talking about today? Girl, you know what? Whatever you want to talk about. But, you know, um,. I was thinking about when I had lost my job, my first job. You ever had first job that you got fired or oh. reprimanded? Yes. 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 Okay. So this this what happened. My first job was actually a side hustle that I was doing while I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And so it became really, really popular. People were making big money, like big money. I'm talking about like... A hundred, two hundred dollars a week <laughs> selling like candy and sweets. And so what I did, I really enjoyed baking at that time. So I started making brownies. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I started making brownies. I think I, even, I was making cookies at one point. People right. love them cookies. And that's it. Yes. Yes. They was reaching out to me. That's like, do you got cookies today? And I was like, no. Or some days I would. But um, yeah, brownies and cookies. People love that. People like. Really wanted uh, to buy my cookies and all the, everything that I was selling. Okay, Beignet Baby, you sure they wasn't my grandma? Hmm? You sure it wasn't me? They wanted to buy cookies from me? No, I wouldn't. Well, you know. Okay. It, I was a hustling. I was hustling. <laughs> I don't think he was on the scene that day. Okay. <laughs> but, um. How do we open this? Um, it's some little. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
pop that up. Oh, just pop it up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, it became really popular. Other people were doing it. And I started was making big money. So, I said, let me hop on a train. So, I started baking, right? Mm -hmm. And money was good. I had, I was able to, you know, um, look at those chocolate bunnies. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish we yeah. had enough to share. Right. But right. carry on. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I'm selling and everything like that. And the business is good. I was able to actually hire some employees, hire two of my friends okay. to and pay them weekly. I paid them like ten dollars weekly um to move product for me, <laughs> essentially. Mm -hmm. Um and so it was going really good. This is good. Yeah. And but at my high school it was and I'm sure a lot of the high schools um, you were not supposed to be selling goods while uh, at school. That was a no-no. And so, Ooh, okay. um, you know, I tried to be careful and I would tell my employees, my friends who were selling for me, um, be careful because mm -hmm. they, they out here looking for us, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, five will be looking, the principals and the teachers and administration are looking for people who are selling, um, uh, you know, goods while at school. So, mm -hmm. we tried to be careful, but eventually it was me. I um, got caught selling. Um, I think it was uh, like cookies. And I was selling like I was selling like five for a dollar, like the little like Pillsbury cookies. And I would sell them and I would bake them. And so I got caught and um, I I got sent to the principal's office mm -hmm. and they um, basically gave me an ultimatum. They said that either you can stop selling the cookies and we'll we'll let it go because this is my first time getting in trouble y'all like i've never first been in trouble offense. first, first offense. offense yes okay. my first offense so i've never been in trouble so they didn't they didn't just like automatically suspend me or whatever they just said either you can stop selling mm -hmm. and we um you know let it drop or if you continue to sell then it can become a problem and you know stuff is on your record and things like that so mm -hmm. me being the future college student physician that I want to be, I decided to take the uh, ultimatum and to discontinue my selling. But that was some good money, y'all. And, and, and it kind of hurt because I was making good money. So are you saying you got fired or you just... Basically fired. Fired. Uh, um, I got let go. Okay. I felt like I got let go mm -hmm. uh, forcefully, mm -hmm. you know. But well, let us know how that tastes. Get it, make sure I get a chocolate bunny on it. Y'all see mm -hmm. that? Ooh, look at that caramel. That strawberry bunny looks good. Is it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, I heard about these. These are supposed to be really good. Mm -hmm. They are, mm -hmm. honey. Mm -hmm. We advise y'all to go and buy some. You can get them at your mm -hmm. local grocery store mm -hmm. or your superstore, whichever that one. That's so good. But, honey, you know me. I'm not unscathed. My first job, I was mm -hmm. like, Working for like a shoe industry, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a good little job. This is my first job out of high school, honey. Mm. I had to uh, take public transportation to get there and everything. So, you know, by the time I got there, I was already probably like frustrated. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> Putting them quarters in right, there. Right, right. Right. It's not the same. It's not the same as driving to work. It's different. <clears throat> You relying on somebody else to be on time to come get you. Why? Mm-mm. At the bus stop back there. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
my other coworkers were saying, my grandma, she just don't like you for home reason. I was just like, that's fine. So one day, you know, we just had some exchange of words. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was just like, I was like giving some feedback and I said, you and your six kids, right? Honey, she was right here. What you say? I said, you heard me. You and your six kids. And what? Boop. That's what she delivered to my grandma. I don't know if it was just like that or what. But honey, I stood up five ten and went to wailing. Baby, I didn't care <laughs> how tall she was. I oh, yeah. And how old she was. Mm -mm. Back then, I was... Very young, so y'all know these left right hooks was on flea. Bam, 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 bam. Honey, by the time I, I had two handfuls of hair. And honey, and do y'all know why grandma still was looking to be in, employed? <laughs> 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 After that, I what? I was still looking to be employed, honey, but mm -mm, they told me different. Yes. So did she get fired too? She did. She did. All right, good. She got terminated too, but also she got a good butt whoop at. Oh yeah. You know, you don't ever put hands on people and not and not yep. know what to expect, or go ahead and put hands on people and know what to expect, and that's a you know what whooping, right? Right. But girl, I was just like, I was like. They better just stop looking and listen. Right. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I say people got to just, you know, evaluate themselves. Right. You know, be colorful. But in a good way. Well, you know what? That fight taught me how to be brave, honey. Mm -hmm. And what, what do you think of bravery? I think more people need it. We have a lot of cowards in our society. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm hmm I agree with that. I agree with that. I never looked at it in that way as being cowardly. And, uh, just on the yellow brick road, honey, the cowardly line. All right, now. Well, honey, he got his courage. And everybody mm -hmm. else mm -hmm. need to be brave like him and get their mm -hmm. courage, too. Do you remember how he got his courage? Did he experience <laughs> oh, I think that's Papa. <laughs> well, honey, I don't know how he got his courage, but I'm happy to hear that he did get his courage, honey. And that yeah. fight taught me how to be true to the game, true to myself. Right. You know, I was not trying to fight anybody. So. Yes, what's your truth? Um. Be yourself. Um, don't be afraid to express your emotions. I mm -hmm. think that's important. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to downplay other people's emotions right. and invalidate them as if they don't have the right to feel them. And I feel like that's something that a lot of us experience. A lot of people, okay, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I'm saying here now. But you that's got, not true. I, which is, I agree with that. I very much agree, honey. But that's what I'm saying. That was my truth, was to just get with her. Right. I was just like, I felt like that was so brilliant of me <laughs> during that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you on your P's and your Q's. Oh, and not P's I think and that's Q's. What, yep, P's and Q's. <laughs> Girl, we using the alphabet and everything. Mm -hmm. I think that's what brilliant is to me. Not necessarily just intelligence, but... Oh. That's a good thing, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, intelligence. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Well, they probably, like, really opposite of each other, come to think about it, huh? Brilliant and intelligence? Mm-hmm. Mm, I think they interplay. Okay, they interplay. I think they definitely intertwine. Okay, overlap. all right. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So, honey, you know, after that fight, I was very thankful because I got a, a chance to relax. <laughs> you know, I needed some time Ooh. off from that fight. Because even though the employees was there to break it up, ooh, I was just like, they go on like for a minute and a half. I was just like, okay, even though she was, I was just like, ooh, because I have to keep delivering. You know, <laughs> once you get started, you just got to keep delivering your blows. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't, you know, I was 
taught as a kid never never uh to hit and find nobody but honey defend yourself you know what and that's what my grandma did was um Offend, uh, defend herself, and I was—I felt very exceptional, right? At, like I did that. How about you? You, what make you feel exceptional? Um, right now in my life, I feel exceptional when I can go to this job <laughs> that I'm at right now oh. and make it through the day. I feel exceptional because there's so many obstacles I'm experiencing. Okay, you know what? Well, I just hope you don't have to just deliver. Yeah, I hope I don't have to deliver either. <laughs> okay. I hate to have to deliver to... Uh, there's a couple people on my mind, but I'm going to let them go. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. let them go. Mm -hmm. They know who they are. They yeah, I, I'm just saying if you have to deliver, that means you're fierce. <laughs> 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 you are fierce, beignet baby. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. So don't let nobody threaten you or right. or uh, impose on you. You know what I'm saying? Girl, this is good. You mm. know what? I taste... Uh, well, this is strawberry shortcake. So I have like little candies and, and strawberries on top. Even mm -hmm. though, girl, I'm... Shay, I've been eating this stuff. I'm almost gone. And Shay, y'all tell me, uh, Beignet Baby, have y'all almost been in a fight or had a fight? I don't mm -hmm. care how young, how old, honey. I'm probably be taking them butt weapons for people that don't leave you alone. Oh, that's what I'm and You know it shouldn't, but sometimes it do. Yeah, that is so true. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But honey, Shay, I appreciate y'all, and you know what? Let me. I'm gonna say grace over this ice cream because my grandma I'm gonna have to stop. Ooh. Being your baby, you want to stop. Even that it came from the main factor from the store with the pop top. Mm -mm. You can't trust that. You remember they was going around licking mm. all the ice cream. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yeah, a couple years ago. It's licking. Going oh, and licking it and putting the top back on yeah. for somebody to buy. And doing a video shoot with it. It ain't right. Let me bless my ice cream just in case somebody didn't pass through. Right. Father God, thank you for this ice cream that Beignet Baby and I have received. Amen. Strength and nourish our body in Christ's name's sake. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But I thank y'all for watching what you was about to say. I was saying, well, going back to that, and Blue, Blue Bear have to take all that stuff off the shelves. Remember yes. That? For a good while to do quality control. Yeah. Yes. And I think at one point in time, they had Listeria or something. And they was going to oh, even take yeah. it off. They was just going to close that ice cream factory. Down. Oh. Yeah. What you say? Yeah. And, and, Blue, Blue, Bunny, Bell. and Blue Bunny probably was going to try to take over. Baby, they was going to try to get that territory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but not with these little cups. I hope they... Okay. <laughs> There's no takeover <laughs> with the little stuff. Okay. <laughs> But, um, I'm going to say, uh, share, you know what I want you to do? Press like, subscribe, notification bell, ding, 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 and leave what? A, a comment, comment below. Yes, ah! or above, honey, wherever that comment appears, just oh, yeah. leave it. Oh, yeah. Just do the, uh, typewriter, y'all know my grandma, and then, mm -hmm. or the keyboard. Oh, so I want to say thank you, Shay. I really appreciate you for taking time from your busy, easy schedule. All right. Thank you.